Hello students this is Suganya now we are going to learn about the endangered animals and the role of humans humans and animals have existed together since the beginning of civilization dog was the first animal domesticated by humans Humans tame dogs to hunt other animals and for their protection. With time, human beings settled down as farmers and domesticated many other animals such as cow, bull and horse for different uses. How are domestic animals useful? Animals such as dogs are kept in houses to provide safety and to overcome loneliness we keep animals such as bulls horse camel etc as farm animals and they are used to plow the fields animals like elephants camels horses mules are used to carry loads and to draw the loaded carts Some animals such as horses are used in sports such as horse racing, polo, etc. Some of the animals are used for entertainment. For example, camels and elephants are used for rides. You might be knowing about some of the things that we get from the animals. The table here shows the name of the animals and the useful products we get from them milk we get from cow buffalo and goat eggs from hens ducks and geese meat we get from goat sheep chicken and fish fur from the sheep camels and lambs silk we get from the cocoon of silk worms leather from the skin of snake camel elephant cod liver oil from fish we get pearls from oysters let us see about the wild animals and how they are useful wild animals in forest help in maintaining various food chains they by helping to maintain the balance in nature for example if all tigers and lions are hunted then the number of smaller animals such as rabbits deer etc will increase so these animals feed on grass and green plants so what happens the number of green plants will decrease which is more important for the human being for the survival that is the green plants produce food for us and keeps the air fresh so many wild animals such as tiger and rhinoceros are kept in the special protected areas such as zoos national parks sanctuaries etc for their safety organizations that care for animals there are some organizations in our country that encourage animal protection and conservation of wildlife people for the ethical treatment of animals peta peta This is the largest animal right organization in the world. People for Animals (PFA). This is the India's largest animal welfare organization. Let us study about the people who depend on animals. There are some tribal communities that use animals as a means of earning their livelihood for generations. animals have provided an important means of support to the families of these communities for example snake charmers they make the snakes to dance to the tune of their long god flute madaris bears and monkeys are trained to dance and show acrobatics mahavat people who ride elephants and train them However, with the introduction of strict wildlife laws, these communities have lost their traditional sources of livelihood and are struggling for survival. Animal rights groups have often accused these people 
of causing cruelty to animals by keeping them in cages or chained to ropes for long periods and also beating them during the training let's see what is poaching animals are hunted for their skin fur bones tusks etc and are sold at very high prices for making luxury products and medicines the illegal hunting of animals is called poaching and the people who hunt the animals are called poachers so the hunting of animals for their body parts has been made illegal by the government there are some rules to punish people who kill the wild animals in earlier days humans killed animals to protect themselves they also hunted animals for food because they did not know how to produce food but now people hunt animals for their body parts and to earn money wildlife protect act in india wild animals are protected under the wildlife protection act 1972 as per the act hunting trapping or capture of wild animals is a punishable offence it is unlawful to trade its parts or any article made from the body parts of the wild animals unfortunately in spite of all these laws poaching is still a major cause of concern many animals that were found in large numbers only a few decades ago have now become endangered species the table here shows about some of the animals that are in danger of extinction because of poaching musk deer a pair of small hairy glands found under the belly of the males which are used in making perfumes and medicines bear skin gall bladder and other body parts to make traditional chinese medicine tibetan antelope it's fine under fleece called chatush is used to make fine shawls rhinoceros its arms are used to make traditional medicines and ornamental daggers elephants their tusks are used to make ivory ornaments do you all know which is the national animal of india is it is tiger but the tigers are in danger almost every body part of the tiger is traded from its bones to its magnificent skin tigers are recognized all over the world for their ferocity and beauty the population of tigers has declined drastically due to increase in both natural and human threats the world tiger population has suffered a major setback during the last century and the tiger has become one of the most endangered species saving tigers how can we save tigers the government of india banned hunting of tigers in 1970 and launched the project tiger in 1973 to save the tigers from extinction by setting up tiger reserves the tiger is important for the well-being of the entire ecosystem therefore to save the tiger we have to save forests as tigers cannot survive in open area forests provide shelters to many other animals and birds first we must ensure that the deer antelope and all other animals that the tiger eats also live in the forest for these grass eating animals grass and other plants that they eat have to be protected in this way saving the tiger helps in saving the entire forest ecosystem saving forest help in maintaining the water cycle it also helps in preventing the soil erosion therefore as responsible citizen of our country we must take the following steps to save the tigers do not buy tiger products 
inform and be informed create awareness so we studied about how domestic and wild animals are useful to humans the organization working for the animals and also to save the tigers now let us solve some of the exercise the first one is give example for the following animals used to carry loads endangered animals animals used for sports the next one is answer the following write two ways in which domestic animals are useful name two organizations which encourage animal protection list three ways in which we can help to save the tigers the next exercise is in the given grid find the names of the eight useful products we get from the animals thank you